Hi everyone, how is it going? My name is Annette and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are coming back, welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to talk about another update, actually the second update on my N400 application or the application for naturalization for me to become a U.S. citizen. The first update that I got since I filed my application was my biometrics used and i made a video of that please check it out I'm also going to put the link down below so feel free to watch it and today the second update on this application is my interview was is scheduled a few days ago i got an update on my case tracker app that my interview was already scheduled after that notification i went ahead and log in on my uscis account and check if the status there also changed and yes it did i was so excited that my interview scheduled so fast it's only been four months since i filed for my N400 application and I was already scheduled for an interview and that interview is actually going to be next month. A few days after that notification and the status change on my online account, I received the mail. But on the day that I got notified that my interview was already scheduled, that's also the day that I found out all the details when is going to be my interview, where and what time. How did I found it out? Actually, guys, you can find those information on the document portal on your USCIS profile. All you have to do is go to the documents tab and then you will see all the digital copies of the mail that USCIS sent to you. Or four days later, I received a letter in the mail and this is actually the paper copy of my appointment letter for my u.s citizenship interview so for today's video i am going to share to you what is on the letter just to kind of give you an idea on what to expect when you're about to receive your appointment letter for your u.s citizenship interview so let's get into the video guys the first part of the letter are actually the informations like your receipt number, your USIS account number, your case type, which is the N400 application for naturalization, my alien number, my name, and also the notice date. And then there's my information, my name, and my mailing address. On the right side, it contains very important informations, which are the informations or the details for your interview. This includes the field office address of where your interview is going to be, the date, and the time. Okay, and then the letter states you are notified before USCIS officer regarding the application identified above at the date, time, and place indicated above. Failure to appear for the scheduled appointment without prior notification and without good cause may result in the denial of your application. There's a highlighted part to ensure visitor and employees' health and safety. Please pay special attention to the sections entitled COVID-19 safety precautions and who, and who should come with you. Pandemic is still ongoing, guys, so it is very important that we follow all the protocols in response to COVID-19. So the COVID-19 safety precautions that they are talking about, guys, is do not arrive more than 15 minutes prior to your interview time. Next is follow local USAS guidelines on social distancing while inside the U.S. facility. You may have to answer health screening question before entering and then bring a black or blue ink pen to you with your interview. Another important part of the letter is you must bring the following with you to your interview. First is this letter. Second is your alien registration card or your green card. Third is any evidence of selective service. Fourth is your passport and any other documents you use in connection with any entries to the United States. And then fifth is those items 
noted which are applicable to you and then it says here if you're applying for naturalization as the spouse of a united citizen you have to bring your marriage certificate proof of death or divorce for each prior marriage of yourself or spouse and then your spouse birth certificate or naturalization certificate whichever is applicable to you so that is the one that applies to me because i applied under the three-year rule and then if you're applying for naturalization as a member of the united states armed forces you have to bring your discharge certificate or form dd214 copies of documents were submitted as evidence with your n400 application the originals of this document should be brought to the interview so this time guys when you go to your interview you have to bring the original ones because remember you already submitted a copy a scanned copy if you filed online or a photocopy if you filed by mail so they already have a copy of it and they want you to bring the original copies all right and it says here please keep this appointment even if you do not have all the items indicated above so the appointment letter is very important guys because that's your key to get into the uscas field office okay and on the last part it shows there's some informations like telephone numbers some websites that you need to go in case you need a special accommodation or if you have any questions or comments regarding the status of your case at the very bottom part it shows there the field office who sent this letter to me on my case it was sent by the houston texas field office and then at the right bottom part there's a barcode there which is your alien number and your receipt number whom they're going to use when you go for your interview so they're gonna scan that so just a few tips guys you want to know ahead of time when is your interview once you get that notification that that your interview was already scheduled go check it on your online account and you'll be able to see that at the document stub portal and just in case the paper copy of your appointment letter won't get to mail before you go to your interview print and download that appointment letter on your online portal okay this letter contains all the information that you need to know for you to have a very smooth and successful day when you go for your u.s citizenship interview that's it for today's video guys i hope i was able to give you an idea on what to expect for your interview notice or for your u.s citizenship interview i've also made some videos guys in regards to n400 application for naturalization so please feel free to check it out and if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and also the subscribe button and of course the notification bell for you to be updated every time i upload a new video thank you so much for your time and i'll see you guys next time